Hello, my beautiful souls. Well, not my souls. Hello, all you beautiful souls. I just wanted to send a little bit of love out to everybody today. Um, healing energy because it's always the roller coaster we're on. And um, the sh shower time is always like my major channel time. Meditation and when I'm at the gym too, but the shower, like things just seem to come through to me. So I was, all that kept coming through today was just like, be okay in this moment right now. Quit trying to escape everything. You know, we talk about escaping the matrix, escaping our trauma, escaping life. You know, if we can't anchor ourselves into right now, we're no good to ourselves. Because the only moment that matters right is right now. So if we're constantly thinking ahead of where we need to get to or where we need to escape to or what we need to get out of, you're missing out on the whole point. You're missing out on the whole point of life. The point of life is to enjoy right now. What are you doing right now to bring more joy into your life? What are you doing right now to bring more love into your life and your surroundings within yourself? What are you doing to consciously create? Are you sitting there and going over things that you've done wrong in the past or what you need to do to do better? You know what? Granted, we do need to set intentions and we do need to ever expand, but we're never going to expand if we're always dissing ourselves and thinking, oh man, I should have changed this. Oh, I need to escape the matrix. Oh, I need to be higher. I need to be this. You just need to be where you are right now. I want you right now to think about your life a year ago. Have you progressed? Because as we get on this ascension process, our progression, these level ups don't feel like we may still go through some dramatic ones, but they're not going to feel as strong as they did because we're used to them now. They become the norm. Going through these cycles becomes the norm. You know, triggers become the norm, working through them, feeling emotions. But look at your life a year ago and how much expansion have you brought in? How much more joy, how much more room do you have in your heart for love, for yourself and for others? You know, make a list of all the positives that you've, you know, completed in the last year. Don't worry about the negatives, the, the what ifs, the why didn't I do this? Because those aren't going to take you anywhere. The thing that's going to take you somewhere is your beautiful mind creating it, creating this love for self and understanding that you are the master of your reality. You are the one who's going to take yourself so many places. When we settle into things without expectation, when we remove all those deep-rooted wounds, um, I know the big ab abandonment wound is a huge one for, some, for so many. The wound of not feeling good enough, the wound of not feeling like you're going to fit in. When we start to untangle those knots in our systems and work to the root of them and understand that the only person who needs to accept you is you, and the more you accept yourself, the more others will accept you, understandably weird hey it's funny how that works the mirror th the mirror thing going on the mirror neurons that's what it is the mirror neurons we all have those and so have you ever noticed when you're uptight and you're anxious you'll attract more of that in around you because people will feel it and mirror it to you they'll mirror back to you the deepest things within your system use those as guides through your day if you're having a bunch of negative interactions in your day Ask yourself, what's going on within me or my energy around me that's inviting this into me? And when you have those awesome flowy days and you think, oh my God, when's the ball going to drop? Oh, this isn't going to last. Those are the thoughts that we need to change in our lives because it can last. It can be steady. We can continuously attract this into our lives. You are the power. So love yourself a little bit more today. Give yourself a little more grace and compassion. Um, work with your thoughts. Don't become your feelings, but feel them. A lot of the time we like to say, I'm mad or I'm pissed off or I'm sad. Well, if you're identifying as that feeling, what do you think is going to happen? What is your subconscious here? You're an angry person. Or if you're saying I'm fat or I'm ugly, what do you think is going to happen? You're, you're going to become that. You know, instead of saying those, say, I feel this way. I feel sad. I'm feeling this. And then that allows... You not to identify as that feeling, but it allows that feeling to be processed. Because if you're saying you're that, which you are, and you're not, you're going to hold that energy in your being. If you say, I feel this, I feel this, you're going to feel it and release it. It's the beauty. It's the beauty of working with our minds and the energies around us. It's so amazing. Anyway, I just wanted to come on and share that little message because I think everybody needs a little cheerleading today. I'm feeling it. We're coming into these full moon energies. Um, I may do a full moon circle on Monday, so keep an eye out for that. I'm just going through what my next steps are for booking um, groups because it's always like 
what should I book? You know, what do I do? I don't want to do the same thing over and over again. Um, I like to have new offerings for everybody. So if you're interested in that, comment below. I'll have another gifted offering soon. Um, my friend made a really awesome comment towards uh, a group, a question and answer group he thinks I should do. And I'm going to go with that because that was great guidance from a beautiful soul. So I'm going to be offering a um, gifted you know, by donation group, but that's all about um, switching ourselves out of victim mentality, how to do it. And that'll sort of wind us up into the 555 portal. Um, my big offering that I'm going to have going very, very soon. It's going to be so awesome. We were supposed to start it on September 5th, but too many people, I have people from all over the earth plane. So what happens is it's trying to coordinate all the times for everybody so we can start an eight week deep dive. Um, but that being said, uh, comment below if you're interested in shifting your consciousness. That's what that's all about. Releasing these self-limiting beliefs, digging to the root of our trauma and our triggers and how to release them, how to welcome in more life, light how, and life and joy to our lives and how to own our power. That's the truest form of us ascending and being our best being is owning our power that's what our soul wants for us is to own your inner power so many of us have been victimized in our life but we identify as that so many of us have been you know told we can't do what we dream of so we identify as that we need to release that and untie the knots and so i am teaching you how i came out of years of you know, self-destruction, years of suicidal tendencies. I had a near-death experience from a suicide attempt eight, almost nine years ago. I should be dead. I had a, it was pretty intense and I'll share those stories and I'll share so much more and the energy that I work with now um, and attune everybody who joins into that. So keep an eye out for that. I love you. I hope you're having an amazing day and sending so much love and light your way. Reach out if you ever need anything. Um, I have a few openings left in September. Check my books. If you don't know where to find them, they're generally at the top of the group or if this is on YouTube, they're in the description below. I do offer one-on-one -on -one, um, healing and guidance, intuitive guidance, and it's beautiful. I love working with clients and I always have groups going on. So I love you. Have a beautiful day.